There is a sense about whether this is as good as it gets in, in terms of the growth, but also, Rahul, the, the idea of running a profitable food delivery company. I'm not sure it was very in vogue. It was a knock against Uber when Uber went public, having Uber Eats. Only now it's in vogue because of the pandemic. Ha has this been a provable, investable idea on Wall Street? The answer, I think, is yes. I'm, I'm going to give you two examples. First of all, think about what happens when the vaccine is here, when COVID is over. Will we all head back to restaurants en masse, or are we going to keep on summoning our dashes? My perspective as a DoorDash bull is that the cat is out of the bag. We've all had a year, essentially, of training. When we get hungry, we push that button. And just like with Uber, a car arrives. With DoorDash, our food arrives. And it's an old-fashioned example, but let's, let's think about Amazon and think about all the worries about profitability that people have had for Amazon back in the day. I think one of the things that commentators are forgetting is not just the state of DoorDash's business today, but all of the amazing things they could build. In their S1, they list three possible future opportunities, things like building a local delivery network, not just for food, but for everything, being a service provider of choice to merchants. And the thing I'm most excited for, and I think where the upside of this company really is, is the uh, the DoorDash subscription, Dash Pass. It's a $10 a month consumer subscription product. Right now, it gets you delivery for free, kind of like Amazon Prime. And if we see where this is going and we see that Amazon Prime is such a driver of growth for Amazon, I think that DoorDash can create the same thing and Amazon Prime for the real world. So, so are they going to be a, a threat to UPS and FedEx, are, are you implying, or, or you're still talking about just uh, food deliveries? I'm talking about a consumer experience subscription. I, I know it sounds abstract, but imagine being a DashPass subscriber and you get access maybe to menu items that other people can't have. Imagine being a DashPass subscriber and instead of queuing up for six hours outside of a Walmart trying to get a hold of a PS6 or an Xbox, whatever, uh, you can actually ask DoorDash to queue up for you and deliver that holiday gift to, straight to your home. It's these kind of next level consumer experiences that are not available today, but with the logistics network that DoorDash is building, will be able to become a possibility in the future. And just to be clear, are you or have you ever been an investor in DoorDash and any of the competitors? And what, what has business been like for you with these to this torrid IPO market. We've seen so many deals. M&A is hot. What, what's it like for a growth investor, a tech investor like you? So I'm not personally an investor in DoorDash or any of its competing companies. I am planning to buy DoorDash, though, when it goes public. My perspective as an investor is this is one of the frothiest times I've ever seen the market. A combination of the public markets being buoyed really high, optimism around a vaccine, a future stimulus package, of course, low interest rates. That money is all looking for somewhere to go. And there is basically no better asset class at this point than private companies. Companies are getting faster than ever before. They're becoming bigger than ever before. And deal velocity is at an all-time high. It is now not uncommon for me to sit down with a founder, uh, remotely, of course, listen to the pitch, sign the paperwork, and wire the money all in the same day. A year ago, that would be unthinkable. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.